Have you ever looked at the stars and wondered about space? Well, sometimes what we see in movies and books can make us think things that aren't quite right. So, let's use science to clear up some common ideas about space. Join me as we explore 10 myths and learn the real facts about the universe in a simple and easy way. Ready to discover what's true about space? Let's dive in! Let's start with a bright beginning, the sun. We've all seen those beautiful drawings of a big yellow sun with rays spreading warmth. But here's a twist. The sun isn't actually yellow. Surprised? The sun is a star, and like many stars, it emits light across various colors. When this light reaches Earth's atmosphere, the shorter blue wavelengths scatter, leaving the longer red and yellow wavelengths to reach our eyes. So, in reality, the sun is more of a white color, encompassing all colors of the spectrum. Next time you look up at a clear sky, remember, the sun only looks yellow because of our atmosphere's little trick. Moving on to our second myth, there is no gravity in space. This one is a bit of a gravity-defying tale, literally. It's a common belief that astronauts float in space because there's no gravity. But here's the twist. Gravity is everywhere, even in space. It's what keeps the moon in orbit around Earth and Earth around the sun. Astronauts experience what we call microgravity, making them feel weightless. This is because they are in free fall towards Earth, but because of their horizontal velocity, they keep missing it. So, the next time you see astronauts floating in a spaceship, remember, it's not because there's no gravity, they're just falling with style. Now let's orbit around to a popular Earth-bound myth. The Great Wall of China is visible from space. This statement has been a source of pride and wonder for many. However, it's time to bring this myth back down to Earth. Astronauts have reported that, contrary to popular belief, the Great Wall isn't visible to the naked eye from low Earth orbit. What makes it even more challenging to spot are the materials it's made from. They blend in with the natural landscape. So, while the Great Wall is an incredible feat of human engineering, spotting it from space without aid is not as straightforward as we've been led to believe. Next up, let's dive into the deep, dark world of black holes. Many of us think of black holes as cosmic vacuums, sucking up everything in their vicinity. But that's not entirely accurate. Black holes are regions in space where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape their pull. However, they don't roam the universe actively, sucking things in. Objects fall into them when they come too close, much like how a planet's gravity pulls in objects nearby. So, while black holes are incredibly powerful, they're not the cosmic vacuum cleaners we often imagine them to be. Let's unravel a rather explosive myth next. People explode in space without suits. Hollywood has given us dramatic scenes of unfortunate astronauts meeting a gruesome end in the vacuum of space. But in reality, this isn't quite what happens. While exposure to space without protection is deadly, humans don't explode. The lack of atmospheric pressure would cause discomfort and swelling, but our skin is surprisingly resilient. Without a suit, the biggest threats would be asphyxiation from lack of oxygen and harm from extreme temperatures. So, while space is undeniably dangerous, the human body is more robust than you might think. Now let's illuminate a shadowy lunar misconception, the dark side of the moon. This phrase conjures images of a mysterious, sunless region on our lunar neighbor. However, this is a misnomer. The moon is tidally locked to Earth, meaning one side always faces us. But this doesn't mean the other side is perpetually dark. Both sides receive equal amounts of sunlight, just at different times. The far side of the moon, which we don't see from Earth, experiences day and night just like the side we're familiar with. So, the dark side is really just out of sight, not out of sunlight. Up next is a widely held space belief. Space is a complete vacuum. While it's true that space is much emptier than anything we experience on Earth, it's not a perfect vacuum. Space contains low densities of particles, cosmic dust, and varying fields. There are even regions of interstellar space filled with gas clouds and other materials. 
So, while the vacuum of space is incredibly sparse compared to our atmosphere, it's not completely empty. It's this subtle presence of matter and energy that continues to intrigue astronomers and scientists in their exploration of the universe. Now let's turn up the heat with a common misconception. Mercury is the hottest planet. Mercury, being the closest planet to the sun, certainly gets its fair share of solar heat. However, it's not actually the hottest. That title goes to Venus. Venus's thick atmosphere, composed mainly of carbon dioxide with clouds of sulfuric acid, traps heat through a runaway greenhouse effect. This makes its surface hotter than Mercury's, despite being further away from the sun. So, in the planetary heat contest, Venus takes the lead, proving that it's not just about proximity to the sun, but also about the atmosphere. Blasting off to our next myth, astronauts feel extreme cold or heat in space. It's easy to imagine space as a place of extreme temperatures. However, astronauts don't directly feel these temperatures. Space itself is a vacuum and doesn't have a temperature in the way we experience on Earth. Astronauts are protected by their spacecraft and spacesuits, which are engineered to regulate temperature and provide life support. When in direct sunlight, an object can heat up to over 250 degrees Fahrenheit, and in the shade, it can plummet to minus 250. But thanks to modern technology, astronauts are kept at a comfortable temperature no matter where they are in space. Finally, let's explore the last myth. The sky is dark in space. When we look up from Earth during the day, we see a bright blue sky. But in space, the sky appears dark, even when the sun is shining. This is because our blue sky is the result of Earth's atmosphere scattering sunlight. In space, without an atmosphere to scatter the light, the sky looks dark. However, this darkness is filled with a spectacular array of stars, galaxies, and other celestial bodies, shining just as brightly, if not more so, than they do from Earth. It's a reminder that sometimes, to see the full brilliance of the stars, we need a little darkness. And there you have it, 10 space myths thoroughly debunked. It's amazing how the mysteries of the cosmos can lead to such misconceptions. We hope this journey through space has enlightened you and sparked your curiosity about the universe. Keep looking up and questioning what you see, because sometimes the truth is even more fascinating than the myths. Until next time, keep exploring.